Welcome back to the garage guys and perhaps maybe one of my last videos in my old garage because I'm moving. Hopefully, fingers crossed, stuff's still to happen but I'll be moving into the double garage hopefully soon. So this could be one of the last videos from my old garage setup. But today, enough of the nostalgia, today I'm here to upgrade some parts on the GSX-R. Now, this is my K8 GSX-R. I've had overwhelming response to this bike on the channel. I think there's, you know, there's a load of interest in these modern classic bikes from the 2000 eras. And uh, fantastic as it is, there's some small improvements I can make. As I've mentioned in previous videos, I've got a little bit of brake jadder still on this machine. So I'm gonna address the brake jadder today, hopefully. I've got the other things to fit. Let me show you quickly what I've got to fit to this bike. I've got a whole stack of parts. But before we do that, quickly, Chopsy or Mavis, whoever wants to do it, roll the intro. So we have a little Aladdin's cave in the corner here of a whole host of goodies here. So. Oh, the bloody phone. So first of all, main issue is the brake. So I've got, I've bit the bullet and I've got some new brake discs. I've gone for Motomaster brakes. I've got these on the SMCR. I've been really impressed with the Motomaster uh, brakes in the past. And they actually race in BSB. They've got riders on their brakes in BSB. They don't just do super moto brakes, they do road bike brakes as well. So we've got new discs. I think the discs are warped, so I'm gonna change them. New pads to go with the discs. Um, we've also got new titanium bolts from race fasteners, but while I've got things apart, I, I can't put on new discs without replacing titanium bolts. So <laughs> that's my bit of extravagance for the front end, but hopefully that will sort out my braking issues. I've also got some brake lines as well, because my bike's still got the rubber hoses on. So I've got a full set of Venhill braided brake lines to go on as well. So hopefully the discs, the lines, the new pads, will address the, the brake judder issues. I really hope so. If I want to get a bit more feel later on, I will probably replace the master cylinder. But let's see how we get on. I also have a link pipe to remove the standard cat on the machine, because I've always complained that there's a little bit of a lack of mid-range. So we've got the link pipe to go on, get rid of the cat, and then I've got a power commander to go on to sort the fueling out. So power commands to go on with the appropriate map already loaded, so that's handy. The other thing which the GSXR has is a restriction in the first three gears, there's a torque limiter. Well, this little module from Heeltech, the X3 power box, plugs in somewhere. I don't know much about this yet, but it plugs in and remo removes that torque limiter. I don't know how it works, but we're also putting that on to remove the, the torque limitations on the bike. Just in case all that didn't free up enough torque, I've got a, a bigger front sprocket as well. So I'm going one larger on the front sprocket to down gear it a little bit more for better pickup. So we may not need that, but I've got a new front sprocket to go on. Should I need even more mid-range torque? And last, but by no means least, we have a TransLogic quick shifter to go on as well. I'm absolutely loving the GSX-R. I have to say it's a fantastic bike. It's fast becoming one of my favorite bikes. You know, I actually prefer riding this than I do the H2. The H2 is more of a, an experience, as I've said in the past, and it's, incredible, it's an incredible thing. But as more of an everyday, every week type bike to ride, I think it's got to be this. Or, or the SMCR, which is also great, but if you've got to be slightly further distance or slightly faster speeds on bigger A roads, this thing. Oh this thing so as you can see lots and lots to do it's obviously not going to be all in this video it'll be about three hours long so first of all we're going to tackle the braking system first of all and then depending on what the time is we'll see if we can move on to fit something else but i really want to sort the brakes out on this bike because they're bordering on dangerous repeatedly hard braking during the bedding period can cause an uneven buildup of friction material on the brake disc contact area may, which may result in gripping disc vibrations or permanent loss of performance we don't want that progressively applied braking power to bed in your brake discs that's a lot of bees Ooh. Oh, too tired, isn't it? She blows. So there's the front wheel removed. Now I'm just going to take the uh, the discs off. 
Motormaster do do because I think these are five ten mil on here. They're not very wide. The uh, K8 GSX R discs. The K9 had a five twenty mil disc, but it has a different bolt pattern. So you can't use the K9 discs on the K8 because I think the K9's got six bolts and not five bolts. So there we go. So I had to go with the five ten millimeter discs. So they're not very they're not very wide the discs on this bike. Three hundred and ten new numpty. New discs, new titanium bolts. Ooh, titanium. So that is the discs fitted to the wheel. Now we're going to fit the brake lines to the calipers. So at the top, of course, we have the master cylinder with a single line coming off it underneath. And then on the calipers, you've got the line, this line which comes down from the master cylinder, and then this line which feeds off to the other calipers. This is the road setup where they come in and branch off and go to the other caliper. You can, of course, get what they call a race setup where you get two lines, one line for each of the calipers. Apparently, there's really not much difference in a, from a performance point of view, but it means with this road base line, you know, the line, you've got a, the line routes over the, over the mud guard. But I don't, I don't mind that. I just want to keep the standard lines. And apparently, there's not really any difference in performance, you know, with the different sorts. So I'll keep it standard. It also then minimizes having too many pipes coming up into the master cylinder, you know, and having to find to route them all everywhere. So I've gone for Venn Hill lines. I've used Venn Hill a few times. They're, they're a British company, made in the UK. As I mentioned, two hose kit. All the rubbers and stuff on as well. Nice. And then you've got all of the fittings. Ugh. And what I went for was all the black, the black fittings. Yummy. Ooh, stickers. Because all the lines are going to be coming off and there's going to be fluid going everywhere, what I'm going to do is actually suck out, not by hand, but with a syringe, the fluid we've got in the, the reservoir. So that gets the most possible out of the system. I'm going to use my big syringe and, and suck it. Ooh, look at that. That saves a lot of pumping. Bleeding hose on. The line's off, I've got the new line prepped and ready to feed back onto the master cylinder. I'm not going to tighten anything yet. I'm just going to leave it loose so I can move things, get them into the right positions. And the beauty of these lines is they've got these little, you know, they bolt on here as well, so you can move things around a little bit. I've brought the line down to here. I've got the mat, these little rubbers which come with the cables, these little guides, if you like, that go into the, the, the mounts. These are really tight. If you spell a little bit WD-40, you can actually slide these around because these may not necessarily be in the, like, exactly the position you need them. So use a bit of WD, get it behind it, and you can slide those. So line's in place. I need to now sort the calipers, now decide if what I'm going to do with these, if I'm going to pull the pistons right out. I've pushed, pushed the pistons all the way in. Um, I'm just going to slide them back out and maybe check them a little bit. I'm, I'm not going to go too mad. I'm just going to give these another good clean like I did the other day. Um, but we'll see what state the actual pistons are in in the calipers and then bolt it all back together. Let's do it. Ah, my eyes. Special caliper tool, which I mentioned before for pulling pistons. Working that piston out. Means you can also spin the piston to be able to see all the way around it to make sure it's not got any sort of corrosion on it. I've been through every single caliper now, pulled out the pistons with my special piston tool, sprayed them with a brake cleaner and then rotated them while they're right out, cleaned them all the way around and then slid them all back in for both calipers. Can't see anything wrong with the pistons and now they're all clean and pushed back in and the calipers are all clean and lovely. So we've got the uh, fully sintered uh, Motomaster pads to go in to match the discs. So let's bang those in. I think then we'll mount the calipers back on the bike 
and then uh, set all the brake lines in the right position and stuff. And then we can put the wheel back in and bleed it through. Oh, lovely new pad. That's what new pads look like. Like this. Old pad, new pad. New pad's fitted. Let's do the other one. Now, I'm not going to bolt these on properly, obviously, because I've got to take them off to put the wheel on. But I'm just going to hold it in place roughly while I get the, uh, the lines the lines done. I've run the second crossover line up and there's a little bit where it mounts on the top of the mudguard there. That's all in place and let's just do the, do the other caliper the other side. Look at the mess I've made. I'm not the most tidy of worker. So once I get this on, I'm going to tidy all this up. I've already knocked over the fluid jug. Brake discs everywhere, brake pads everywhere. Sort that in a minute. Oh, job. Final job, just to nip up this kitty. Take the 11 mil spare. Oh, beautiful. Shouldn't leave the calipers hanging like that. If you don't shut up, Mavis, I'll replace you with this combobulated man. Bingo. Sexy. Almost as sexy as you, Mavis. You will not find a sexy around object. You wish. Move the baby's bottom. That's the front end. Centralise your forks. The pinch bolts. There's no binding of the actual band or anything. Wheel is now spinning a beautiful free. Now all we have to do is re-bleed the brakes. Again. I've only just done this job. Alright, it's actually gone quite well so far, I would say. Gloves. Bend over Mavis. I have my vacuum pump connected. And now I'm just gonna pump. Pump away, open the valve. Oh, I can see something happening. Already. Come on, me old girl. Oh, I've just spent the best part of two and a half hours trying to bleed the front brakes. Just can't build up any decent pressure out of the master cylinder. Tried everything. You know, just using a vacuum to pull the fluid through. Just can't get it to work any better. It's, it's, it's okay, but it's it's terrible. Let me show you. If I really pull, I could almost get the lever back to the, the bars. Not happy with that. Not happy with that. So I think, I think I'm going to change the master cylinder. I'm just going to go out for a quick test ride, see what it's like. It has got a little bit better, maybe since I've been playing with it. But um, I think... Let's go for a quick test ride, see how it is. And I think I might have to bite the bullet and get a Brembo RCS master cylinder. <laughs> and then the brakes will be fully sorted. Let's go for a quick ride. Just got back from the test ride and um, it's not good. <laughs> The brakes are binding a little bit. They're sort of binding too much. And the actual discs are getting hot to the touch. I think it's the master cylinder, even though the pressure seems to be okay. And there was a recall on all GSXR master cylinders years ago. And now I'm thinking, is it because mine wasn't never changed, you know? So um, I can't use the bike. What I'm gonna do, I mentioned getting an RCS master cylinder. So I'm speaking to Daniel at DR Bikes and I'm gonna buy uh, an MCS master cylinder just to sort it basically and fit that and then the brakes will be spot on. I'm hoping it's not the calipers where I mess with the pistons, but as it's both calipers, both discs are getting hot, both both are dragging. Um, I think it can't be, the, unless I've buggered up both calipers, which is unlikely. So I think it's the master cylinder. So I'm gonna buy an RCS master cylinder, put that on, and then we'll retry again. So there we are, that is it for this video. As I said earlier on, it's all going rather well. Mm. Mark spoke a bit too soon there, Chops. <laughs> so next video, we fit the link pipe, the power commander, and probably the quick shifter as well. So uh, that Let's sounds of interest. Stick around. Too.
and I'll see you next time. Cheers, guys.